is the Bijou Baker and Maria. Today I'm gonna to make brittle. Not peanut brittle, not almond brittle. <gasps> Amazing brittle. It's got um, pistachio, it's a salted pistachio, and it's got uh, cardamom pods, coriander pods, sesame seed. <sighs> I mean, it is a mouth full of flavor, not your usual uh, brittle, but the the but the, uh, <laughs> the brittle itself is a basic recipe. Everything else we're doing to it is we're just kicking it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I had if you can find cardamom seeds, grab them, grab them. They bring flavor to anything. I'm telling you. Plus, uh, they're in a pod, and the pods are very time consuming to open up and take out those little seeds, but I couldn't find the seeds, so I had to crack open my pods. <laughs> but um, here's, what, here's what it looks like just in a real quick snap. So you see that they're in the pods and then you kind of, I took them in my um, uh, mortar and pestle and just kind of smashed them, laid them out and just divided the seeds from the, um, gunk cleaned them and ended up with about a tablespoon of pods i could have done two a tablespoon of seeds i could have done two i think i wanted to do two i just i got lazy so that's okay i'm not going to miss the flavor because i have the other uh, spices that are really just gonna take it there so let's go ahead and get those toasted um i have a cookie sheet off to the side we're ready to go. I've got Silpat on it. Um, if you don't have Silpat, you can just lightly butter a cookie sheet. You just don't want it to stick. <sighs> Parchment paper. Sure. I've never done it. I've never done it on parchment paper. I've done it on um, marble. Now that's tricky because marble's cold and this is going to set really fast. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but I've done it. So, <laughs> so shut up, Maria. Um, but for me, the sill pat works the best and lets me take a little bit more time. It's gonna set fast, so you're not gonna, you're gonna go speed racer, go. All right, let's play. All right, I have my heat going on a medium. I'm gonna toast the seeds. This is what the inside of the cardamom seeds look like. Really interesting. But man, are they ever aromatic. So I've got the cardamom seeds, I've got the coriander seeds, and I've got the sesame seeds. And I'm just going to toast them. So how do you know when these spices are done being toasted? You're going to hear them crackle and pop. You won't hear them snap. <laughs> so they're going to crackle and pop. Once you hear them starting to get a, a little bit more than a low roll, um, you want them off the heat immediately because you don't want to burn them. So I'm just going to have at this. It may, it can take between three and five minutes depending on your oven and the temperature and the pan, just all these things. Just keep in mind the crackle and the pop. Okay, you can see the colors changing really nicely. And I don't know if you can hear the popping or the crackling. See the moving? A little tricky. You know, I'm always looking to show you everything. Um, these weren't cracking like I wanted them to, but they still got toasted. So I could have either waited and watched you see them crackle um, and burnt them, or just take them off. And I lay them in a flat paper plate because I'm gonna fold a plate and use it as a spout later. But when you have these um, done, see the colors? Okay, so you toast your seeds. You lay them in a flat surface. A paper plate works just fine. And then just kinda shift them around every now and again and let them cool off. You don't wanna put them in a bowl uh, to cool off because in that bowl you're gonna get steam and that steam is gonna undo all the work you did to toast them and they're going to make them soggy or just not good. 
So that's not what we want to do. So now on to the um, griddle. Okay, in a medium pan, I've got my corn syrup. The really cool thing about this griddle, now, some people just use sugar and let that come to a boil to caramelize, and that's fine, that's fine, but that's not this one. So I'm going to stir it. I hope you get a good picture. I'm gonna to have to fix that. And it's gonna get sandy, gritty sandy. That's all right, so I'm just gonna let it keep cooking and get you a better picture. All right, better? All right. So this gets going and going and going. It's gonna give me a little bit of color and I'm gonna cook it to about 250. That's a good ballpark. That's not the finished product, that's just what I'm gonna get the sugar to. You wanna stir it. You don't necessarily have to stir it constantly, but you definitely wanna stir it a lot. I'm sorry for the view of my hand when I do this. I just don't have the best angle for you. So just keep stirring it, moving it so it doesn't burn. Okay, so you're gonna see that it's pretty liquidy, which is what you want. Got a lot of good bubbles going in there, which is what you want. You want to take this to 250. So I'm gonna tilt the pan so I can get an accurate reading of the syrup. When this is done, I like it, I like my brittle to go to 315. 310 is about the average um, temperature for brittle, but it gets a little tricky. So you have to move fast. All right, so I've got, I've got it at 350. I'm going to add my pistachios. This is gonna cool the temperature down a little bit, but I'm gonna keep on going and it'll get liquid, it'll liquefy again. All right. Okay, don't be afraid of this because it's gonna look like, oh man, it's ruined because it's one like solid glump. It's not. The heat is gonna continue to melt it and, and make it more liquid. So just, just be diligent, my friends. Just be diligent. Okay, now it takes a little time, guys, but don't, don't be discouraged. It will liquefy and it will get soft again. So just the um, nuts just really, and I put in extra nuts just because I like it a lot. So it's doing just fine. All right, now the fun is gonna begin. I'm gonna add the um, baking soda and it's gonna go crazy. And from this point on, it's fast. So it gets really frothy. I'm gonna take it off the heat. I'm gonna continue to stir it. And again, it's gonna seem like it's gonna get thick, but just keep pressing it. You will work your rump off for this, I'm telling you. We're gonna put in some butter. And the seeds. So I've got about a 30 second window, I think, from this to the pan. So let's just go on over. Okay, so once it's cooled, you just, oh, just break it, break it into pieces. One thing I do, I do forget that I do with this. <laughs> I forget that I uh, dap it down with a paper towel because of the butter, it does get greasy. And this is just me being weird. That's, that's, that's all there is to it. The butter obviously doesn't hurt anything. Plus it's butter. 
<laughs> but still. Um, so that's it. You just you just continue to break this up. I'm going to turn this over and wipe the bottom down too. Um, just because when you give it away, you don't want to give anything greasy. Well, maybe you do. Okay, so I did make this for a birthday gift, so of course I want it to be the best it can be. And so I am going to um, take the butter off. But I want to show you this piece. Can you see all the goodies inside? That is beautiful. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, so first I'm enjoying the, the pistachio. That coriander and that cardamom. They fight together until they kiss and make up and then do things in there that just should be illegal. Just slap me. It's that good. Give it a shot, guys. I think you'll really like it, especially if you're going to um, a potluck. People aren't quite sure what to think about it until they eat it. <laughs> so good. Okay, my friends, until next time, happy baking. Ah, oh, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.